Welcome to the Chowhound Report. This week I reviewed Iron Cow Cafe, which is not where Iron Chefs go to get beef. It's a new place in the Milk District described as a modern industrial warehouse merging food, beverage, and music. Only the food and beverage were evident when I stopped in, and not very much of the food. Although Iron Cow Cafe opened in December, it was still offering a soft opening menu in late March. You think a place with a name like this could harden that opening menu by now. I had a decent enough Reuben sandwich, and the beer was cold. I also reviewed Bugan Billas, an authentic Mexican restaurant on Lancaster Road in South Orlando. How authentic? I had to ask if they had a menu in English. I had the beef stew, which in this Jalisco version is just beef, no carrots or potatoes. I also had a steak taco and a really good carnitas sopas. I had news about the progress of Clada Cottage and an issue with the nearby church. And I gave you the first peek at what the second floor bar at Wine Bar George will look like when it opens. I announced that Tommy Bahama is closing its cafe and retail store at Point Orlando. And Bram Fowler will serve time and Southern American cuisine at the old jailhouse in Sanford after it's turned into a restaurant later this summer. Regina Nenardo was the winner of last week's drawing for a $50 gift card to Big Fin Seafood Kitchen. This week's drawing is for a $50 gift certificate to the pharmacy. If you're signed up for my e-letter, you're already entered for this drawing and all future drawings. If you're not, just text SJO to 66866 and you're in. That's it for now. Ciao.